So the question is why we see the moon on the sky during the day. We have two types of objects we can see on the sky. So first type of objects, those who generate the light, the source of light, and we can see them if they generate enough light, and those who just reflect the light. So sun, the closest star to us in our solar system, it's the object which generate the light. And the moon, it's the object which does not generate any light, it just reflects the light from the sun, from the closest source of the light to it. So as a result, we can see all the stars on the sky because they have such an enormous amount of generated light energy and so on, which we can see, so they shine. Uh, for example, sun uh, generated light from atomic reactions happening within the sun when the hydrogen generates the helium. As a result, there's so much, not just light, but uh, heat, energy, radiation, all other type of uh, emissions coming out of that. And we can see it, we can feel it, it gives the source of energy on our planet and so on. But whatever the sun is rising over the horizon, so whatever our Earth is rotating towards the sun, it shines so bright, we can't see anything else on the sky. All other stars, they're so far away in comparison with the sun that their light become very diminished and we only can see the light from the sun. However, objects that close enough for us, much, much closer than the sun, they could be seen. For example, some planets, the closest planet for us, it's Venus, and then there's a Mars, then there's a Mercury. They're quite close to us, but depends on the size and how bright light of sun is on the surface of them. We can see them sometimes in early morning or early evening. And they first appears on the sky before stars in evening. And the last, for example, Venus, we call it morning star or evening star. It appears in the morning. It stays longer than other stars because of that, because it reflects the sun and it's closer to us so we can see it. Same happens with the moon. Moon, the closest object in our solar system to us. Uh, apart from some satellites that can circulate around our planet, but they're so small and they can only reflect the sun from uh, the light from the sun and we can only see them at night. You can see like a little dot traveling over the sky. There will be the satellite. Other objects which generate the light will be stars which gathering together into galaxies. They're all emitting the light and we can see them at night. Unfortunately, it's hard to see the planets and other star systems because they emitted light from the sun, reflected, but it's very hard to see it. That's why it's so hard to see other planets apart from the planets in our solar system. And other things which we can see on the sky, which reflect the sun, it will be dust in the space, uh, other planets, as I say, or um, subjects like asteroids, comets, and so on. But we couldn't see that during the day because the light from the sun is so close to us and so strong that it's just dissolved any other lights coming from other stars, planets, and other objects. That's why during the day you can't see the stars in the sky, although they are absolutely there. And there's a one way to see them. If you go very, very deep down into the Earth and have a limited source of sun going down into like on the bottom of the well, or on the bottom of some mine, and you can look up and see in the circle of the well, the sky, the piece of sky. And if there's no sun directly shining on you, you will see the stars or other objects. So that's, that's how it works. That's how we go in the deep down into the well and we eliminate all the light coming from the sun on your vision and you can see the sky. So why we can see the moon? during the day and what not every day we can see the moon and so on. So moon is very, very close to our uh, Earth, the closest object that rotates around the Earth and the Earth as well rotates around itself and the Earth as well rotates around the sun. So there's a, a lot of mathematics going on. And those moments when the moon is reflecting the sunlight, when she's in particular position in comparison to us and the sun, she has some light reflecting from the surface. And if it's located on the sky at that time, we can see it during the night or during the day. So it depends where you are on the planet right now. You can see the moon or not. It depends if the moon is new, 
like a new moon when there's a only shadow of the moon on the surface, no sun reflected, you can't see the moon. If there's a first phase or last phase or full moon, you can see the light reflected from its surface. So it's not often in the months we can see actually the moon on the sky. But why we can see during the day? During the day we can see the light reflected from the moon because it's very close to us and it's enough to travel from the moon's surface to us even in all this ray of light that comes from the sun during the day. Unfortunately, we can't see the stars, we can't see any other planets, as I say, only maybe in the early morning or uh, late evening. At the same time, we can see some other objects on the sky during the day, which are close to our eyes, and they're big enough. For example, comets or asteroids. Comets and asteroids, they can come close enough to our planet when they're traveling through the solar system. And if they come close enough and they reflect the sunlight, we sometimes can see some big comets or comets that are close to us during the day. And we just see the light that they reflect from the sun. And because they close enough, we can see that light. That's why it was so unusual to see something on the sky apart from the moon and sun during the day. That's why people get scared when the comets start coming past. And in the history, there's a lot of uh, rituals or religion beliefs related to the comets. Sometimes it's the good omen, sometimes it's the bad omen. Sometimes people believe that some great person will be born on a planet. Uh, there's a legend that when Alexander the Great, Makedonsky, was born, the comet was passing the planet and people could see that week on the sky. At the same time, for example, when Napoleon was uh, starting his war, marching over the Europe and Russia, there was the comet as well in the sky and he considered it as a improvement of his actions and success. So there's a many things can uh, be related to the comets, but it's always been kind of scary for people because there's something huge traveling close to us we can even see during the day. Because I said we can see the moon not so often on the sky, on a particular time of the month, and same during the night, because she's traveling quite fast. If you look on the moon during the night or during the day, she's traveling quite fast in comparison with other stars or other objects. Because, as I say, she rotates around us and we rotate around ourselves and depends on the mathematics of these rotations, we will see the moon traveling past. So use this opportunity to explore the moon, explore its surface. You can see some features of the surface and with even simple binoculars or telescope you can observe it or just the camera. So use the opportunity and, and observe the moon when it's traveling on the sky.